kill all snakes the rats population will increase and it will affect our human beings so we should need to protect snakes also girija can you tell me who are responsible for endangered endemic extinct and migratory birds why not pravina do you want to see that cruel creature which is damaging severely to the nature and biodiversity okay pravina look here oh no girija am i damaging the biodiversity not you pravina all the human beings are responsible for this in what way we are damaging biodiversity okay pravina i will tell you okay see here see this video day by day population is increasing and and also deforestation i think friends you know what is mean by deforestation it means cutting down trees they are cutting down trees for their needs and to to prepare furnitures like table chair etc and see biodiversity is declined because due to the uh, population increase and deforestation and firewood collection see friends they collected red sandalwood trees industrialization pollution and urbanization these are the reasons for the decline of biodiversity okay girja may no so what is our government doing so wwf it is nothing but world wildlife federation and iowc it is nothing but international for wildlife conservation they published a book containing the details of endangered species of flora and fauna of our country and they published it as red data book and red list book see here pravina this is a red data book okay see here friends see the slide okay girja should we conserve these small insects like bees and butterflies they are very small creatures what is the use of them as yes, pravina we should conserve these small bees and butterflies also because they useful in the pollination which in turn gives seeds and they give us new plants oh okay then what are our responsibilities how does government help to protect biodiversity okay pravina see on the screen we can see how this biodiversity is going to help by the government the government of india establishes some national parks and sanctuaries to conserve biodiversity and wildlife there are some sanctuaries like pakal sanctuary it is in warangal district and pranahita sanctuary it is in adilabad, adilabad district. district and kaval sanctuary it, it is, is in also in adilabad district and see here friends kinnarasani sanctuary it is in kammam and tiger project it is in karimnagar papikonda sanctuary it is in east and west godavari district and Koller Sanctuary. It is in West Godavari. And Koringa Sanctuary. It is in East Godavari district. Okay, friends. See here. See the Tiger Project. And Pranahita Sanctuary. And Kinnarasani Wild Sanctuary. And, and Papikonda Sanctuary. It is Kaval Sanctuary. And next Koller Bird Sanctuary. and next this is the pakal sanctuary koringa sanctuary it is in east godavari district okay friends these are all the sanctuaries to conserve birds and wildlife and there is one national park also it is kabet national park in guwahati and jim kabet national park it is in uttar pradesh and friends to conserve nature we wrote some slogans like save trees save other lives too save the lungs of the earth be kind towards biodiversity hunting of wildlife is a crime nature is for humans need but not for his greed ho oh, okay pravina you said that nature is for humans need not for his greed what does it mean okay girja for your clarification i will tell you a small story friends i am telling girja a story do you want to listen okay Once upon a time see there, here friends see the screen once upon a time there was a farmer he did not had money to fulfill his basic needs like food shelter clothes etc he was in a very poor condition but farmer had 
four ducks. See friends, they are very cute and beautiful. They are in white color and two are in yellowish color. See how nicely they are swimming in water. Are you observing friends? I think you also want to swim in water. Okay. Farmer daily feed them feed the ducks by giving them grains. See, he is feeding the ducks by giving them grains, and and after a few days, see how nicely they are walking, and after a few days they grown up, and and friends, one day a miracle happened. Do you know, friends, what is that? Among four ducks, one duck started laying eggs. But friends, those eggs were not an ordinary eggs. Then what eggs? Yes, you are correct. They are golden eggs. He thought that by selling these golden eggs, I can fulfill my basic needs. See, he is waiting for another golden egg and duck laid another golden egg and see, daily duck laid six golden eggs. See. One day he showed it to his wife and he furnished his house well and he had money for his next generation also. And friends, one day his wife told him that in duck stomach there were many eggs. If we take all of them at a time, we will become richest persons. And he thought that it is good idea and he went to the bank of the river. See, he went to the bank of the river and he called the duck. And yes, Pharaohs, when the duck came, he hold the duck neck and he cut down the duck stomach. But friends, there were no eggs. Duck died and farmer felt very sad. So dear friends, the moral of the story is greed breeds Pharaohs. Okay friends, here duck means natural resources like air, water, soil, plants and animals we should use all these resources with utmost care we should not use this we should use it for our needs and for sustaining future also okay friends see here i am going to tell you one mahatma gandhi ji quotation that is the earth the air and the land and the water are not an inheritance from our forefathers but on loan from our children so we have to hand over to them at least as it was handed over to us this is the slogan slogan of mahatma gandhi ji friends so we should not misuse these resources okay okay pravina do you want okay as a student how would you conserve biodiversity in your school i think my opinion is it is better to ban examinations Please stop examinations and save trees. This is my slogan. Pravina, is it the way to conserve biodiversity? Oh friends, even though it is a funny comment, but it raises the need towards reducing the uses of paper and recycling of paper. And friends, do you know, to make a ton of paper, 17 trees should be cut down. So, we should, the recycling of paper is more important. We should recycle the papers also. See friends. Okay friends. Do you know what are these? Okay, in our school, we recycle the papers. It is our first attempt to recycle the paper by following the process which is given by 8th class Biosense test book. I think friends, in your school also, you are going to recycle the papers. Hello? Hello, Swero? This is V. Sirishla, 8th class from Vaira. Shall I ask one question for a friend? Okay, Swero, ask your question. What will happen to the plants in such an area where tiger inhabit? What? What, Swero? What will happen to the plants in such an area where mm. tiger inhabit? Okay. If the tiger is there in the particular area, what will happen to that uh, plants? That is your question? Swero, is it your question? Yes. Okay. If the tiger is there in that particular area, uh, the tiger can eat the herbivores which are living in that particular area and then 
the herbivores will decrease and the population of plants will increase here it means in nature it balance it balance the plants animals have you understood swero ah uh, understood thank you swero okay okay girija as a student how are you going to conserve biodiversity at your school okay as a student i am going to conserve biodiversity at our school by planting more and more trees see here friends in our school we planted some trees see and i tell them and i educate the farmers not to use these chemical pesticides and fertilizers in our school we are preparing the compost by recycling the waste food materials and i tell them not to disturb small insects birds and animals and we should not waste papers we should write both sides of the papers and friends if possible we should prepare some nest for the birds to help them and see here in our school we prepared some nest and in this way we are helping the birds by giving them grains water and i tell them not to cut down the uh, uh, i tell them don't cut the branches of the trees hello? and hello swero what is your name hello hello swero what is your name hello 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 swero this is immanuel from mantani okay swero hello. what is your name this is immanuel from mantani okay what is your question what is the use of the story you showed that ah uh, yes good question friend here see here uh, the farmer he cut down the duck for golden eggs it means uh, he was greedy here uh, human beings also for their needs they are cutting down all the trees and they are killing the animals for their needs so if he uh, goes on cutting down trees it means if he goes on doing deforestation and if he goes on killing the animals hunting the animals lastly it impacts us only as it strongly affects to the human beings only because we are only depend on the plants and animals yes or no okay swero do you understand that answer can i repeat again okay and pravina by displaying some biodiversity conservation slogans i bring awareness among our sweros and our school friends like nature is for humans need not for his greed don't pluck flowers it adds beauty to the nature and don't cut leaves they give us oxygen and save trees save the lungs of the earth and in our school we are collecting all the plastic papers and we gathered them in the plastic pit because we know that to dissolve it uh, to dissolve the soil it took so many years so we sh- we collected all the plastic paper and we are trying to send them for recycling and so friends the conclusion is universe is one creation is one all life is one when one part of that whole suffers all of it will suffer so, so friends, friends to protect nature or to conserve biodiversity we should practice small qualities like kindness affection, affection forgiveness and, and help, help the, the needy. needy so friends cultiv- our motto should be live and let live what should be our motto live and let live as yes, you are right live and let live should be our motto and friends to cultivate you should cultivate these things in your family in your settlements in your nation and also in your school okay friends okay friends just now we have learned about biodiversity and its conservation conservation and we learned about how variations are found and the effect of environmental factors in bringing variations and their uses girija can we apply these variations in our daily life why not pravina if we take our society can't we find differences among our swero since 2 years in their communication skills leadership qualities responsibilities acquiring knowledge in different subjects concern towards biodiversity and bringing awareness in certain aspects it means we are seeing all these variations among our swero's oh okay girja what are the reasons for the formation of variations among our swero's ho oh, pravina don't you know we have 10 commandments seven seeds and e plus clubs and uh, we have superstition competitions science fairs 
ignites these are all the reasons to form variations among us oh these are just like environmental factors like yes. light temperature availability of food and water brings variations in plants animals and human beings but friends here environmental factors are 10 commandments super strength competition ignite competitions and seven seeds and youth parliament brought variations among our spheros as pravina okay pravina do you want to see one more example who stood beside of you it's me last year i participated in all competitions but i succeeded at district level competitions due to the lack of food due to the lack of communication skills but in this year i participated in all competitions and i succeeded at state level because i improved my uh, i de i developed my communication skills oh yes girija i congratulate you Thank and you, remember Pramina. next time i will add up these qualities and i am one of the best competitor to you okay pravina welcome let's start our struggle now onwards all the best Okay Girija let us come into subject okay Pravina okay friends now I am and Pravina we are going to Bharatpur sanctuary do you want to come with us okay let's go let's come with us here friends we are going to the Bharatpur sanctuary it is in Rajasthan see here we came into the Bharatpur sanctuary see how Bharatpur sanctuary is see the birds how they are enjoying and they are constructing their nests by their own without depending on others but human beings are not like that they depend on everything for other people and for the uh, they depend on plants as are no friends but birds not like that they prepare their own uh, nests and they live happily girija by seeing these birds i want to burn like a bird uh, girija uh, how in next generation how are you going to burn okay next i want to burn like a tree because tree is useful for living things and uh, tree is a good habitat for all the living things like birds small creatures insects snakes and some animals and tree cannot de depend on other for food it prepares its own food by through photosynthesis okay friends okay friends note, note down, down some definitions like species it means a group of individuals with similar qualities and they can interbreed among themselves and next variation it means differences in characters within very closely related groups of organisms are of are referred as variations and next heredity it means the passing on of physical and mental characteristics from one generation to another generation and note down some slow uh, definitions friends interbreeding sexual reproduction and Okay friends do you know how these variations are formed these variations are formed during reproduction in organisms sexual reproduction and mutations okay. leads to form variations in offspring in a population okay friends okay friends we are all thankful to our secretary sir for implementing these qualities we want to tell is success, success is, is not, not permanent and, and failure, failure is, is not, not final, final. So success should not go to the head and, and failure, failure should, should not, not go, go to, to the our heart. heart. So, so friends, always, always think, think big and aim high, and don't forget the tenth commandment. That, that is, is, I shall never give up. up. What okay. is that, friends? I shall never give up. What Repeat. is that? I shall never give up. I shall never give up. Okay, friends. We should not give up. Okay. Okay. Okay, friends. Thank you for giving this opportunity.